my veganuary food haul is today's food for thought video. Hi, my name is Jodie Wunting. This is one of our live tip videos to help you lose weight and feel fantastic. Now, my food shop today is not in the microwave, uh, but it's actually all vegan. Now, the good news is I actually didn't buy a lot of this stuff, especially for Veganuary. I actually eat a lot of plant-based foods anyway, because as you know, I am all about protein and plants. So this is kind of why I've already got so much stuff. There is a couple of things I did buy on purpose, and that is to up my protein. And one of them is this. So this is some fresh tofu, um, and this is from Lidl. Aldi don't do fresh tofu. Aldi do do this, which is a not a fresh one, and they do that in the special buys, and they only do that in health seasons, so it's not there all the time. However, this fresh one is there all the time. So I'm going to go through all the foods. The one little asterisk that I just want to, to um, put out there, because I'm what I'm doing myself is veganuary clean keto so i'm having lots of nice healthy fats lots of vegetables but there's one thing i'm staying away from and that's processed soy you know it as corn so corn is what they call ultra processed and is basically full of crap this is also soy but this is a naturally fermented version. So therefore it's much healthier, much easier for your body to digest. So that's really important, guys. You wanna stay away from corn. You wanna stay away from soy milk, anything that's highly processed. This is soy, uh, but as you can see, it's organic and it's the firm style, therefore is a much more natural version. Now, this is the softened one. So this is called the silken tofu. And you can use this in the replacement of eggs. So you can use it as almost like a yogurt as well. Uh, so that's the softened tofu. Um, now this is something else that I wouldn't normally buy, but I've just bought it to try for Veganuary. And that is this ready meal. And it's a coronation chickpea curry. So again, the protein here is coming from the chickpeas. It's not coming from any... Uh, processed soy. Uh, I'm not doing the calories on this one, Aaron, because we're going through lots of different products. Um, something Aldi still have through Christmas, which I normally buy anyway, is falafel. This is the cranberry and sage one, so I'm looking forward to trying those. And then the other thing that I love is avocados. Now, it's really important to get your healthy fats in, guys. So just trying to have an avocado every day or every other day is really good for you. If you don't like these, then you definitely need to get some nuts in, and we'll talk about nuts in a couple of minutes. Um, oh, there's so much stuff, it's exciting. Now, my mum accidentally bought this. This is the vegan gravy, and again, I wouldn't normally buy it because it is quite processed, but if you are having, like today, I'm having a nut roast for my New Year's Day dinner, so I will be using, so this is the nut roast that I got from Lidl, so I will be using a little bit of uh, vegan gravy on that. Um, other things. This is something that I can recommend, especially if you have pot noodles at the moment or you need something with like a kettle meal. Uh, this is a Raymond, but it's a vegan one and it's by a company called Naked who basically don't put any crap in it. So that's why it's called Naked. Hi Monica, who's watching the live video. This is Keto Vegan right in front of you. I've got a little bit of coconut water, not a big fan just because it's so expensive, uh, but I'm gonna make some overnight oats with that or overnight seeded oats. Uh, other things I've got is obviously loads of vegetables. So green things are always good. So I've got some uh, celery and I've got some sprouts there. Also mushrooms are really important guys. Fungi to keep you healthy. So again, just try and incorporate a few mushrooms and obviously add, them, add garlic to them, add some oil to them. They'll taste amazing. Uh, carrots. If you like being a little bit orange like me, I recommend eating a carrot every single day. It's been proven. It gives you that natural tanned look. So get your beta carotene in. 
Uh, let's get rid of some of the big items. I love sparkling water. So again, if you are cutting down tea and coffee, uh, try go for sparkling water. Uh, I'll bring in at this stage my favourite fruit teas. This is a mulled wine. That's a strawberry, that's an orange. Uh, so again, if you are trying to reduce your milk, to be honest with you, uh, milk alternatives, milk alternatives taste like crap. So you're much better just to having something nice instead of going for a nice herbal or fruit tea. Uh, other things, I really love this. So this is hummus, mashed chickpeas. Don't go for the reduced fat one, guys. You need those essential oils, those essential fats. So that's hummus. And again, that's not the reduced fat. So make sure you get the full fat hummus. I've got some vegetable stock cubes, which are gonna be used for uh, some soup. So if I make my own soup, and also use that as the base for any sort of uh, curries, stuff like that. Obviously you can use tins of tomatoes as well as the sauce. Uh, I know a lot of you are not a fan of this, but this is the grain-free granola. So this is just nuts, seeds and fruit. So again, it's naturally vegan. And again, I quite like that. I would recommend having it in hot milk though, just to make it a little bit easier to eat. Right, let's talk oats. So I've got them here, not because I'm gonna eat them, but. I know a lot of people, when they go vegan, they put on weight, and that is because they have a lot of grains. So it's really, really important, guys, when you go vegan, is not just to eat chips and grains, because that will definitely make you put on weight. So you want to stay away, I repeat again, chips, porridge. Those are the two things you want to stay away from, because you will be a fat vegan if you do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk nuts, shall we? So, peanuts, cashew nuts, obviously these are the cheapest and these are the ones ready and available. If you've got nothing else available and you're out and about and you need a protein snack, then go for these. However, if you can plan, if you can buy something a little bit better quality, you are much better going for Brazils and almonds. So these are unroasted and unsalted. And to be honest, I really like them. They're so nutty and flavoursome. So those are the sorts of nuts you're going for. Aldi also do mixed nuts, which again are not um, salt, uh, roasted or salted. So those mixed nuts are also okay. Also in my seed collection, uh, I've got some chia seeds to make some chia seed pudding. And I've also got some flax seeds. So again, they've got the essential oils in, the omega-3 fatty acids are really important, especially these. Sprinkle them on soups, anything that you make, guys. Just a little sprinkle of flax seed, and that way you will be a healthy vegan. Especially if you don't like avocados, it's really important to get those seeds in. Okay, next up, let's do these little packets. So this is just cauliflower rice. Obviously better if you can make it yourself, but that is available. Also these low calorie noodles, the spaghetti, and then I've also got uh, the noodles. So there's skinny spaghetti. This is skinny noodles. And then I've also got some skinny rice. So those are the three different um, companies that do them in all the discount stores. I got these for a bloody bargain yesterday, guys, in Aldi. They'd reduced these for like 69p. Just unbelievable. It's the first time I've ever seen in January, which is obviously the, the, the weight loss season, when something like that has been discounted. Amazing. I bought six lots of them. Right, let's move on to another packet. Now, when you do want a grain, the good thing about quinoa is it's got protein in. So instead of just like rice, it's basically just sugar. But if you have quinoa, it's got that flavour of rice, the consistency of rice, but the, the quinoa's got the protein in, therefore it's gonna make you fuller and it's got some nutrients in. So that's raw quinoa that you can just boil up. Uh, this is a pre-prepared one with pumpkin and sunflower seeds. So again, if you need things on the go, that's a really good one and that's from Aldi. And I think that's about 60p as well. Now, I haven't tried this. I had this le left over from my keto uh, at later last year. And this is a low-carb keto pasta. So I'll be trying that. But again, it's quite a process. I wouldn't recommend something for like that long term. I've got some potatoes here. Like I said earlier, uh, you're much better to go for low-starchy uh, vegetables. But if you fancy a jacket potato with hummus, which tastes amazing, then go for something like that. 
My mum's bread's over here, so I'll also add in now, guys, chips, bread. This is normally the diet of vegans. You don't want to be having that crap. Right, I've got a cabbage. Uh, I've got some more nuts there. I've got some apples. I've got some shallots. So again, nice flavour to everything. I've got some desiccated coconut. So again, remember coconut is high in calorie, but it's also got some good fats in there, good nutrition in. So just, if you like coconut, just a little bit of sprinkle on things, that's good. Uh, also, you can put it, coat it on vegetables to give it like that crispy KFC style crunch. Because uh, again, a lot of people who do keto, a lot of people do vegan, they just find that like everything tastes the same. So. Keith desiccated coconut is a way to get a nice crispy crumb on things. I've got some really exciting things to talk about in a minute. Oh, so exciting. Um, lentil soup, 100% peanut butter. So really important to make sure it's 100%. Don't have too much of that. I've got some plum tomatoes. I've got some uh, chopped tomatoes. Again, fresh is always best, but good to have some on if you're cooking. Uh, talking about cooking, just having some cinnamon, some nutmeg, all the ginger, all those little spices make your things taste great. Now you definitely want a little bit of this. This is some curry powder, uh, curry chickpeas, curried lentils, make your own lentil dal. You know, this little thing and a stock cube or some chopped tomatoes, you can literally feel like you're living in Birmingham in a bolty house, okay? So... <laughs> Or you could even add uh, coconut cream to the curry powder and have a Thai style curry as well. So there's lots of nice things you can do. Curried vegetables, if you haven't tried it, amazing. Really good. Um, right, these are the two weird things that I haven't tried. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. So the bottom one is jackfruit uh, and the top one is this thing that was brand new in Aldi yesterday. It's called Banana Blossom. Uh, again, both of these products are not available in the UK, so it's not something you want to have long term. But if you're doing a Veganuary challenge, you just want something different, uh, definitely try these interesting foods. Did I mention coconut milk? No, I don't think I did. So, the problem with uh, boxed coconut milk or almond milk, they're still highly processed, guys. So, although it's great calorie-wise, 20 calories per 100 ml, it's still processed. So you're much better going for something like this. Now, this is like that coconut cream. It's basically just coconut water and a little bit of coconut meat mashed in. So when you are having overnight oats or you're making your own seed porridge, stuff like that, using a coconut milk is much, much healthier. Now, because it's coconut, it has got more calories in than things like almond milk, but they taste so good. Like, they taste like fresh coconuts. So if you like, if you like coconut, then use some of these coconut milks. These little bed boys are three, three small cans for a pound in Vienna. Just, it's the only reason I go to b and to be honest with you, to get those three. Uh, purely because when you open a big can, you feel like you've got to use it. Well, if you've got a small can, it's perfect for curries, for overnight oats, all that jazz. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, season things, guys. So again, get yourself some pink salt, high quality, nice pink salt. Also, I use chilies because I like things a little bit hot. Um, this is not a protein shake that is vegan, but I put it there to remind me to tell you about protein shakes. So if you really can't get enough protein in or you can't be asked to cook or whatever, get a vegan protein powder. It's so, so important to get your protein in because if you don't get your protein in, you're going to get muscle wastage. Therefore, you're going to get slim, but you're going to get thin and like your bones are going to be all sticking out and all that jazz. So really important that you get your protein in. Next up, when you're cooking, you want to be using olive oil or coconut oil. Now, if you're cooking in high temperatures, actually olive oil is not recommended. You're much better to go for coconut oil. But bearing in mind, both these products contain a lot of calories. So you want a little bit so you stay healthy, but not too much so you get fat. And then finally, I've got pesto. Uh, for those of you who don't know what pesto is, um, it it's, can be used as like, dare I say, a pasta sauce, but you don't want to do it on pasta sauce. I would actually just put it onto vegetables that have been baked and stuff like that just to give it a nice flavour. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. This is a tomato one, which I really like. 
So again, I'm looking forward to those. Uh, balsamic vinegar, which is always good to flavour things. Um, we've got some salsa. Now this one is a bit processed. I'd much prefer having a fresh salsa or making it yourself. But again, it is, if you're coming from a place where you've had a lot of tomato ketchup and you need to just get off it, having something like this, one of these salsa with a lot of big vegetable content in is a great way to get off it. And there's a little bit of sugar in here, but again, a lot, a lot less, like 90% less than ketchup. So, and that's a hot one as well. So that's delicious for me. And then finally, how do we live being a keto 80-20 and still enjoy our life? This is your solution. This is what mum bought me for Christmas last year. You can see I haven't had much of it, have I? But this is 100% dark chocolate so in here are little bits of dark chocolate so you can buy a lot like big bars but again you, you're tempted to eat it it's really bitter so what you want to be doing with this is if you're making overnight oats you just sprinkle a few of these on the top um, if you're having some fresh strawberries for instance you normally have cream on them Putting a few of these on, you know, just grating a little bit of dark chocolate is a real way of feel like you're having a treat and obviously staying healthy and becoming and staying vegan. As I said, 100% chocolate. Most shops sell this now, 100% chocolate. If you really want to go wild, get yourself to Hotel Chocolat <laughs> and they also sell 100% chocolate, guys. Try it, mix it up with things. You will love it. It's pure chocolate. Right, that is it. If you've got any questions about Veganuary, about my vegan keto foods, leave it in the comments uh, and I will reply, guys. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again. I think I'll be live a little bit later. Bye.